Egunon, everybody. Welcome to my daily Euskera practice. We are back here once again. Episode 31. So I've officially been doing this for over a month now of practicing Euskera every day. If you've been watching the channel, you know recently I've been going through this beginner's workbook that I picked up in the Basque country on my last visit. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with myself that I've kept this up for a month and complemented with my actual formal Basque class that I take once a week and the homework with that, I feel like I've made some progress this month. Like, obviously, I haven't made leaps and bounds. Like, I still don't speak Basque, but I feel like I'm understanding more, connections are being made, and that's really the goal of this, right? Because the hope is that eventually, like, enough connections will be made that, like, well, I'll be able to progress in my studies and hopefully one day my comprehension and my speaking abilities. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves now because I'm still working in the beginner's workbook and I appreciate it. I'm fine with like the pace of everything that we're doing. So today in the workbook unit four still, we are going over something that I learned in my Basque class. So hopefully it shouldn't be too painful. And that is Nai Isan. So basically saying you want something. And um, I like this uh, similar to the last video was all about Beharisan, the way you say you need something. And I like these two forms because like pretty much they're the same. Like <laughs> you use ukan to have as an auxiliary verb and you just have to memorize the main verb and then voila, there you go. You know how to say you want something and you need something. So um, I'm just going to go through a couple exercises here just to reinforce this lesson because um, it's always good to practice because still like the conjugation of ukan like I really have to think about it still. Um, it's not the easiest to grasp. I don't know. It's been so long since I've like tried to learn a language. Like the last time I took language classes was in high school to learn Spanish. So like maybe learning Spanish was slow going too, but I don't. I don't remember it being this painful, but maybe because I was in a class and I was doing it every day and it was like somebody was like in charge of the instruction and my curriculum and like things I had to do, you know, like it was probably easier just because I had like a teacher organizing everything. Whereas here I'm kind of just like, oh, what exercises am I going to do today? <laughs> anyway, so let's just do some exercises um, and see how we do. So, yari aditsak eta oshatu esaldiak. Still don't 100% know what that means. That's the instructions for this section. I think we're like filling in the verbs and. Osatu esaldiak. Gosh, this is the instructions for like every single example. So, is osatu esaldiak, is that. Like filling in the the sentences? I don't know. Either way, there's some blanks on here that I need to fill out, so we'll figure it out as we go. The example says, Aitona nik telefono hori naidut. Grandpa, I want that telephone? Maybe. Okay, so now I have to basically follow that example and the sentences. Here we go. Leirek televista hori blank. So this time Leire wants that television. So it's going to be very similar. We're going to put in nahi, but then we have to change the verb conjugation to third person singular for the subject. So that would be naidu. Leirek televista hori naidu. Cool. Guk ordena gailua blank. So this time we want a computer. Guk ordena gailua. Gosh, I've seen that word so many times in this unit that I think eventually it's sinking in how to pronounce that, but like first time I saw it, oh my god, so many letters. <laughs> Guk ordena gailua nahi dugu. Yeah, because it's one computer. Okay, next one. Suk telefono hori blank eta leirek telebista. Um, so I think this is pretty much like a grandson asking his grandfather for things, maybe, because this is the grandfather's response. So you, I don't know, you want that telephone and later the television. Yeah, I mean, we just said that, Aitona, we just said that. Suk telefono hori 
Nai Dusu Eta Ledek Televista. I'm not 100% sure on that one because I'm, I'm inclined to conjugate it based on suk, but it also says Eta Leirek, actually. So now that's telling me that it's maybe it's like you guys? Like, is it suk Eta Leire to get or Leirek together? Huh. The more I think about that out loud, the more I'm thinking that might be the case. So my initial response is Nahi Dusue or Dusu. But I'm thinking this is actually a suek situation, so maybe it should be nahi dusue. I'm going to put that e at the end of dusue in parentheses because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, next sentence, suek ordena gailua blank. So you guys want a computer, which is the same verb conjugation I just put. So suek ordena gailua nahi dusue. Umeek parentheses hayek. That's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Betty serbait blank. Oh, I really appreciate in parentheses they put serbait means algo, um, which in Spanish algo is like any, I think. Anything, like serbait, anything. Anyway, um, <laughs> so umeek, hayek, okay, so hayek is our form, so that's third person plural. And then if algo said bite, that sounds like that would be a singular object. So I'm going to put nahi dute. Umeek beti said bite nahi dute. What does that mean? Children always want something? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because, <laughs> yeah, they do. Guk es daukagu dirurik. Cool. Oh, we just learned um, eduki and daukagu is. Oh, cool. That means we want, we don't want any money. Okay. Guk dirua blank. What do we really want? Wait, what? You just said we don't want any money, but now you're saying we want money? Wait. Oh, man. This is, gosh, these dialogues sometimes, like, I'm so busy trying to figure out the literal translations that I think sometimes the meaning is lost on me because, like, what? Oh, wow. You got it, Amory. You got it. I'm sorry. I forgot for a second there. Brain fire. That eduki, daukagu, means have, to have. So you're not saying we don't want any money. We want money. Duh. We're saying we don't have any money. We want money. Okay. Whew, got there eventually. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. So guk dirua nahi dugu. Boom. All right, what does Lady have to say for herself? She said, Amona nik kromo horiek blank. What is a kromo? Kromo? K-R-O-M-O. I'm going to look that up on your guys' beloved Elhuar Histegiak dictionary. It translates to chrome in English? Come on, that is a literal translation that does not work. I want... I want that chrome? Come on, no, that's not a thing in English. What does that mean? I'm going to turn to my trusty Google Translate. That translated to chromium. What the heck is chromium? I don't know what chromium is. Are we talking about Google Chrome here? <laughs> it's not capitalized. Um, so I don't know what that means, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm just trying to practice verbs here. So... Amona nik kromo horiek. So horiek is that. Oh, horiek, plural. Those, those chromes, whatever chrome is. So in that case, it's nik kromo horiek nahi ditut, I think. Next one, shabierek patin horiek blank. What is patin? Let's see if El Huar Histegiak knows what that is. Uh, cool. It doesn't give me an answer in English, but it's telling me in Spanish that means cisterna, like a cistern, which again, I'm not even sure I know what that means in English. A tank? Google Translate says, like a, a reservoir, a tank? What? Okay, whatever. Um, either way, Xavier wants that tank. 
<laughs> what are we even talking about? I thought I knew, but this is devolving. Okay. Either way, it is a singular subject, Xavier, and a plural, yeah, Horiek. I think that's plural object. So, Nahi di tu. Guk televista eta ordenagailua blank. So, we want a television and a computer. Gosh, asking for so much. So that's guk televista eta ordena gailua nahi ditugu. We want multiple things. Okay, a few more. Suk kromoak blank eta shabierek patinak. Okay, so clearly the vocabulary, like I'm missing the meaning on all of this, but ooh, ooh, is this trying to trip me up again like before? So it's suk you. Eta Xavierek. So I think Suk and Xavier are the subjects here, which is multiple U's. I think that's a Suik. Um, and so I guess that's multiple objects too because they want different things. So maybe Suk Kromoak Nahi Ditusue. If that's correct, then I need to go back and change what I put for that other one. But I'm not totally confident. All right. Umeek beti gausak blank. Okay. Children always want things. Gausak. Yeah, things. I think I just learned that word. So umeek, that's third person plural. Betty Gausak. Gausak is also plural, so we're gonna put Nahi. You can do it. Di Tuste, I think. Okay, last one. Guk Pencio Onak Blank. We want, I was gonna say good thoughts. Pencio, because it sounds like pensar. Penser, but maybe it's a noun, like maybe it's a thing. Pencio. What is El Huar telling me? It says pencio is a pension. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, if grandma is talking now, so we want a good pension. Whoa, did this just turn political? What does, does this have something to do with chromes and patinas, cisterns? Okay, whatever. Either way, Amona wants a good pension. She and her friends. Guk, pencio onak, or good pensions, onak, nahi ditugu is what I'm going to put for that one. Is there anything else on the next page? Nope, nope, no more exercises for this section, Nahi-san. So oh, it's kind of nice to have shorter exercises sometimes. I feel like some days I spend like half an hour sitting here trying to figure these out. And I guess half an hour really isn't relatively that long. Like when learning languages in school, you spend 45 minutes to an hour every period. But... Let's be honest, there's only so much battery life and memory life on my camera and I feel like there's only so much you guys want to watch. Like, nobody really wants to watch 45 minutes of me doing exercises, right? That's a good excuse to keep it to 10 to 20 minutes practice a day. That's how I explain it to myself. And, uh, oh, I have my bass class tonight. So really, I shouldn't overdo it anyway. You know, this is just a little revision, keep things fresh, so. If you have any questions for me about me learning Basque, my study materials, if you're new here, I welcome them in the comments. And please subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel, like this video, you know, keep in touch, see what's going on as I continue to learn this very complicated and interesting language. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Quiero arte.